Hey Cancer, thank you so much for coming to your monthly love reading. Um, it should resonate for Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. This can be your situation or your partner's. It kind of just depends, to be honest. With that being said, Cancer, let's hop into this reading. What's the overall energy for love and romance for Cancer? Okay, Page of Pentacles. Something is starting here, which is nice. What's the overall energy? What, what's Cancer's person's overall energy? Cancer's person's overall energy. Ace of Pentacles. Hello. Thank you. Come through. Give me something solid. How does Cancer feel about this? How does Cancer feel about this? Um, about their person? And Cancer's over here like, I still don't fucking trust you. That's what I feel like. Cancer's over there like, don't get it twisted. I already know what it is. Um, what's the current situation between Cancer and the person of interest romantically? Okay, Two of Swords reverse. I like that. I really do like that. And what's the best potential outcome here for these two romantically? Cancer and their person of interest. Ooh. Trust. Okay. I'm going to be honest. I know for cancers, trusting somebody, that's hard. Yeah. You know, and all my friends that are cancers, they always had like one friend that they fucked with and that was it. Because they had trust issues. Like they didn't trust anybody. All right. I'm going to be honest here. Um, I do feel like something has to be let go of. And I know that that kind of sounds cliche, right? Like, I know a lot of tarot readers are like, you have to let go of it. But then you're over there like, well, what the fuck am I letting go of, right? Like, there's not enough details. But I do feel like there's something here that's been a heavy burden. And I feel like it's almost like shedding that. So whether this is weight, like somebody sh actually physically shedding weight, like losing that weight, losing, there's something here, whether it's physical or mental, it's like taking away something, I feel like that's been a pain in the ass for a period of time and shedding it and like coming out as like a whole new different person because there is something here about a release, but it's weird. It's like you have a release, but then there's also this weird reconciliation that's coming in. And there's a level of healing, but then also, too, it's weird. I feel like your partner's kind of fucked up. I'm going to be honest. But you feel good. It's like a new you. I don't know how it, like, new you keeps coming in. Not you, too, but re, whatever the hell I just said. You guys, you guys understand. You guys, you guys already know I'm a hot mess, so. Cancer's like, we love hot messes. Come in, let me, let me take care of you. It's funny, like all my really good friends usually have a cancer placement, whether it's Cancer Venus or a cancer in general. All right, what's the best potential, um, or best potential, what's the overall energy here for love and romance for cancer? Unconditional love. Okay, kisses. Giving and receiving, affectionate, falling in love. Okay, so. And a lot of you guys, I'm going to be honest, Eight of Pentacles, that's Virgo energy. Um, a lot of you guys are working on yourself or working on some type of project. But I feel like a lot of it is self-work. About things that you need to let go of. Um, things that are no longer serving you. This is Saturn and Sag. Or, yeah, Sag and Saturn. It's also being committed to ethics like every time I think of Virgo like that's somebody that like does the right thing they like to they like to follow the rules right they're the people that write it down and then they go and they check the boxes right I feel like too with this with this eight of Pentacles ten of wands this is working on something where you're committed to playing by the rules but being very optimistic like, there's something very optimistic about this type of situation, but it's weird. The energy that I'm getting here is you focused on yourself.
Yeah, it's 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 interesting because I feel like um, you were waiting for something. Um, cancer, something to come through. And for whatever reason, it made you wait too long. And then you're like, fuck it. Like, I don't have time to wait. I'm just going to work on myself. Like, I don't know. I know that that doesn't sound like very love oriented, but I feel like once you focus on yourself, it's like, then there's some type of reconciliation, right? And it's almost like, now that you're back to where you're supposed to be, it's safe for you to love. And I also feel like this separation or this time apart from focusing on the relationship, it's really giving you and your partner time to figure out exactly what you want. But it's also a level of forgiving and learning, like learning from it. Somebody has to let go of control issues. There's something here with finances and kids, like, but it's something here about separating. It's almost, it can be too, let me say this, Cancer, it can be you separating from, separating yourself from the outcome and really focusing on yourself, making yourself right, investing in yourself. One more card here for the overall energy for love and romance. For cancer. Three of cups, six of cups. Cancer Mercury, there's Scorpio. I feel like this is kind of like a timeline, right? Maybe I'm crazy. Probably. I feel like here's the thing. <clears throat> I feel like in the beginning of the month, right, the energy is, is, is it's not moving quickly. It, it's very small interactions. However, there's something here where somebody starts working on themselves, whether it's you, Cancer, or your partner. Somebody is physically going, undergoing a level of transformation here. I also feel like... Um, With the three of cups, six of cups, it's like after you work on yourself, all of a sudden you have this reunion, you have this conversation. It's like you, you, you go out, you have a good time, and it's very emotionally fulfilling for you. How does Cancer feel about this? Three of pentacles. See, for me, that three of pentacles didn't represent a third party. Now, I'm not saying that there isn't a third party, but what I'm saying is as far as this energy is concerned, you're not focused on a third party. You're focused on how to get to your goal. You're focused on having a very controlled approach to making things work with this person. I feel like you're over here saying, listen, we tried it your way and it didn't fucking work, so now we're going to try it my way. Either you're in or you're out. Like Kenny Powers said, I'm fucking in, you're fucking out. You know what I mean? Like, there's something here. Hop over, player, on one side or the other. And I feel like because there's this very confident, like, low-key determined energy around this, I think that this throws this person off a little bit. And it's just very straightforward. It's very straightforward, and, and, and it's interesting because I just feel like three. Aries had a lot of threes, and they're reading two. Three plus three is six. It's like you have to do the work, and you have to be emotionally available in order to receive, you know, all of this energy, all of this positivity, and also a level of transformation. That's what I'm getting. Okay. So now we have the Ace of Pentacles here for your person. Finally, it, it looks like some type of solid offer here. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here for Cancer's person of interest for Nancy, please? The Emperor. Ew. Yes. Come through. Look, I'm glad it's not this fucking page over here. I hate the page. I hate pages. Page of Cups. Okay. This Page of Pentacles is like, I can offer more, but I'm not. Here you go. Here's a, here's a text message, you know, but the fact that the emperor is here, like this person is coming up with some, um, bomb energy. 
I don't know, again, if it's because you put your foot down here. And with this three of pentacles, that's almost challenging that person. Like, if you want to be with me, stand up, be strong, be powerful, prove to me that you can handle me. It, it's about flipping the script here. It's you not giving them the details of how it works out. You're allowing them to figure it out themselves. It's almost like that saying, um, I'm not figuring it out for you. You want to be with me, you, you, you figure it out. You already know what's good. You know where I'm at. You know where I live. You know, here you go. Like there's something here about your energy, Cancer. I feel like it's flipping it. This is flipped. And you feel good about it. You feel like you're in control. Your person, they are making an offer because I think that they've learned that there's something here where, again, Queen of Pentacles, okay, there's Capricorn and Cancer. They understand that if they wait too long or if they're confused about where they want their stability to go, like, let me, let me rephrase that. I feel like this person, okay, seven of cups, four of wands, seven of cups, that's um, Venus and Scorpio, right? I feel like this person, one, has attracted you because of their level of intensity. Like there's something very intense and passionate behind the two of you. There's something very focused. And I feel like there's a lot of heavy sexual energy. But sometimes I feel like this person does underhanded shit. But it's weird. Your person's energy is coming up with like the energy of like, I know what I have to offer you. And it has to do with this four of wands, Venus and Aries. Like these, these are very like Venus and Aries is hella sexual, very quick, very instinctual. I mean, seven of cups, Venus and Scorpio, you already know they're fucking freaks. And that's just a very heavy sexual energy. And I feel like behind all this um, passion, it's finally, there's a solid offer here. I feel like this queen of pentacles, I feel like that's you, Cancer, but I can ask, how does Cancer feel about this queen of pentacles? The ten of pentacles, you're like, that's my ass. Um, I feel like this person is very serious about you now. There's something here where there's a level of seriousness. And I feel like you, you had to be very patient. Oh, shit. All my cards just fell. You have to be very patient. As I said that, like all the cards just flew all over. Hold on one second. Let me pick them up. There's also like a weird nervous energy though. I don't know if that makes any sense, but there's like a weird nervous energy I feel like either around this person or you get nervous with this person. I don't know. It's kind of interesting. One card for their overall energy with love and romance. Soulmates. Yeah. I feel like this person has been thinking about this for a long time, though, Cancer, and I think that they're finally ready to, to make a solid offer and a solid commitment to you. That's, that's, what, that's how I feel. How you feel about this is the hangman. So, again, this can also be, um, this is uh, Pisces or Aquarius, and some people think it's Taurus as well. But... It's understanding that some things you know, even if they're not expressed here, I feel like you know the things that they are holding close to their heart. I also feel like there is understanding there's some type of sacrifice that has to happen in order for things to progress. Um... Yeah. Can you give me more information on how Cancer feels about their person of interest romantically? Three of Wands. 
I think for you, you're waiting for them. It's on them, right? Aries, three of wands, it's on them. But I feel like if they wait too long, it's not going to be a good situation. So I feel like your person is thinking about making the solid offer for sure because there is a soul connection here. They feel like it's a soulmate connection. However, I feel like for you, it's, it's, they want you to be patient or you feel like they want you to be patient. And now you're just waiting. Like there's a, there's a level of weight here. One card for how cancer feels romantically about their personal mental health. Look, needs time, takes time, cycles, healing. There's also some type of cycle that has to end, whether that's a marriage, whether that's outdated thinking, whether that's just needing time to actually physically move. Like there's something here where you just feel like time, time is of the essence and it's only a matter of time before things with you and this person become very stable because there is going to be a lot of growth here, I do feel like. And a lot of abundance that does come. And I feel like there is stability. There's a heavy sense of stability. But you know it's coming. Like, you you feel it. What's Cancer waiting for? The Ace of Cups. You're waiting for them to finally make that offer to you. What, what kind of offer? The Lovers. It's what you've been waiting for. Seven of Pentacles, the Star. It's the one thing that this person refused to give to you just because they could. It's the one thing that this person held back. You're waiting for this person to offer it. Because then it's a completion of this stalled energy. And now you guys have like a level of forward movement. So. Kind of interesting, but now we have the Two of Swords reversed as your current situation. I do feel like in April, there was a block between you and your person, right? I mean, even fucking Helen Keller can see that. There was a huge, there was a huge block, right? Okay, we all know it. However, now that block is, is reversing, right? I feel like the block was, <clears throat> the block was, or the situation prior was, going back and forth with whether or not this was a strong relationship to be in. Also, it was going back and forth with whether or not this person could see themselves with you at all times, or you can see yourself with them. And I think that when things fell out of whack with you, that's like the one thing I always say this, you don't ever want to be at odds with the cancer. Nope. If you're at odds with the cancer, they'll make your life a living hell. You guys hold grudges. So for this person, it's like they don't like being in a place with you where it, it's, it, it's not a very harmonious environment. They're also tired of fighting, I feel like. And I think that for the first time, there's something here about understanding that there was a block and it had to do with somebody's mindset and limited ability to think outside of the box. Knight of Pentacles, Four of Cups reversed, that's the Three of Cups. It's like getting out of your head with what's being offered. And it's really kind of taking things into your own hands here with this Queen of Wands. And it's almost like, okay, that's fine. You want to offer some bullshit? That's fine. Not bothered, right? Right? You're no longer fixated on how this works. It's either going to work or it's not. Like, I feel like that's the mentality. The magician. Yeah, it's weird. I just feel like for you, it's like you're ready to, like, you, you're tired of being tired. Like, you're ready to get in a place. Like, the situation, four cups reversed. That's the three of cups. It's like you're ready to get back to a place where you're having a conversation and things are starting to like gear up where it's a new start and you have a clear uh, vision of where things are moving. Whether that's you moving together as a couple or that's you moving together single. Um, we'll get into that in the extended. But I do want to say this. There is some 
something coming here, Cancer, that's a level of abundance. I feel like it may be financially. Or physically. Something happens here. Some of you are physically moving, I feel like. Some of you... <clears throat> Just transformation, like they keep showing me that for some reason. Transformation and growth. Something really good is coming in for you. Um, outside of this person, it, with or without this person, there's something very good coming now. Your situation with this person is asking for a sense of trust, right? And it's saying this situation is calling for you to have faith. It's hard to have faith when it's like, logically, this looks like it's a shit show. However, there's a reason we're not supposed to always think logically because things aren't always black and white. As much as I hate admitting that, there's something more to this with you and this person. Uh, I love you guys, and I'll talk to you later. Peace.